for projectile being fired. The gun can engage an all-round target or fire 360 degrees without changing the gun position. The gun has a length of 6,520 millimeters in firing position, 400 kilograms also in firing position. It has a total weight of 2,300 kilograms in traveling position. The gun can traverse at 5.6 degrees to the left and to the right. It can also be elevated from negative 5 degrees up to 70 degrees. The 105 millimeter gun is divided into two main parts. We have the positioning and orientation navigation device and a layer display control unit. And then the howitzer. The positioning and orientation navigation device and the layer display control unit makes up the firing, con the firing system of the gun. The position and orientation navigation device helps orientate the gun and also gives coordinates to the layer display control unit during laying. And the layer display control unit receives all firing data and also helps in laying the gun for direction and for elevation. The Hawiza is also made up of the barrel assembly. The barrel assembly receives the projector and when fired, spin the projectile on its axis, giving it direction in flight to the target. It consists of the cradle. The cradle secures the barrel and guides the barrel during recoil and counter recoil. The equilibrators. They help in balancing decreasing and reversing the force applied to the elevating hand wheel. The wheel assembly, which helps in moving the gun from one point to another. The top carriage. The top carriage. It houses the barrel assembly and it helps to rotate the gun on its pivot. The bottom carriage. It serves as a base for the top carriage. The traversing mechanism. It is used to lay the gun in direction and the elevating mechanism is also used to lay the gun in range. The bridge block mechanism, it opens to receive the projector, closes, fires it and extracts the empty cartridge case. The gunner seat, it serves as a seat for, for the gunner when laying. The drills, they provide firm support for the gun when firing. And over here is the firing platform, which helps the gun to be fired in sandy and marshy areas. It also helps the gun to engage target at 360 degrees all round. The power supply system it provides 24.6 volts to enable the position and orientation of the of battery. What's it gonna? Always oh, around. Dance.
the shower <coughs> and the cartridge kit. The fuse detonates the warhead upon impact. It has two main settings. It can be set at super quick or delay. When it's set at super quick, it destroys enemies in the open. And when it, it is set at delay, it is used to destroy enemies in trenches. The shell body is the main part of the ammunition that causes casualty. When a fuse detonates the shell body, it breaks into numerous fragments, which causes casualty. The cartridge case is the part that houses the propellant charges and also holds the primer. When a gun is fired, it, the firing piece strikes the primer, which ignites the propellant charges to burn. Let's Let's break. Let's go! Hey! Fire! Fire! 
Ça pousse. Los. I'm a bill. Give it to the person. Let the let the let the officer let the officer load. Guide guide the officer to load. Guide the officer to load. No, you close. Guide her. Guide her to load. Yeah.
The ordinance consists of the barrel assembly. The barrel assembly is lined with 36 rifle grooves. It precedes the projectile, fires it, spinning it and giving it stability and direction in flight. The breach mechanism, which serves close the breach, fire the projectile and open to extract the empty cartridge case. Movement from one point to the other. Sighting equipment, which is the eye of the piece, used in line of, used in conjunction with the elevating mechanism and the traversing mechanism to lay the gun both in range and direction respectively. The throw gives support to the gun during action. The shield protects cannoneers operating on the gun from Linted. The cradle supports the bar assembly during action. The recoil and the counter recoil mechanism absorbs part of the shock during action. The 122mm Hawaja gun has been proven to be very effective and to have pinpoint targets and it can be manned effectively by a detachment of 8 men. I am Lon Bombardier, Mensa Imam.